up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, ABA, select start. Now, how many of you guys know what I'm talking about? That's right. I'm talking about Contra. Um, and for those of you who don't know what that is, it was probably, for any kid who grew up in the 80s, one of the ultimate games of all time and um, just one of those things that stands out from my early childhood that I remember um, back then as I'm sure most of you other 80s kids uh, recall the Nintendo was like the big hot commodity and you had Mario and you know a couple other um, big titles that were that were huge but Contra was just crazy and probably the most immortalized uh, cheat code in the world was up up down down left right left right ABA select start and I think anybody who was born in that era has that like permanently seared in their mind because it was such an important thing as a kid and what it would do, for those of you that don't know, or maybe you don't remember, which, how could you, but, um, what it allowed was, it would give, it would give you extra lives. I think it was a, a hundred extra lives. And, let me tell you, Contra was a hard game. Uh, especially when you're like, I don't know, a six-year-old or an eight-year-old, and you're, you're playing with your controller, and, and instead of going like this, you're like, trying to jump with your hands I mean it was ridiculous stuff but um but something that Contra taught me at an early age but more so is just video games in general is that until you die there is no end right and I'm talking about until you literally die um, if you if you mess up, if you fail, you have another life, right? This life has given you the ultimate cheat code, which is if you mess up, try again. Try it from a different angle. Instead of going from the top angle, drop down to the lower level and go go the water route. You guys know what I'm talking about too. Um, you know, instead of shooting on the left side, shoot on the right side. I'm not saying you're shooting, but I'm. Uh, I'm still thinking about the game, but the point is attack a problem at multiple different angles until you find the right one, right? You you'll you'll mess up. How can I put this? Okay, so in order for me to articulate what I want to say, let me back up here. First of all, if you're doing anything worth doing, then you're, ch you're taking on problems and obstacles and challenges that are new and exciting and nobody's ever done before. And, and you do that because it excites you and, and, you're, and you're passionate about it and, and it's going to enhance either your life or other people's lives and broaden their horizons. And when you, whenever you take on a problem of that magnitude and that scope, yes, it's it's intimidating, it's scary, it's thrilling, it's exciting. It's a lot like Contra was. Um, every time you get to the next level, it's like, oh, now the, the the bad guys are more difficult and they're they're coming on harder. The obstacles that you face in real life will be, you know, more challenging as as you progress in levels of experience. But the key is that if you if you fail right in the game if you had died if you fail it's not the end of the world you get another chance and you get another chance and you get another chance the only time you really fail is when you put down the controller and say that's it I'm done I'm too frustrated I give up and how many of you guys did that before even though you had the hundred extra lives you got to one part in the game, and maybe it wasn't even Contra, it was some other game, right? You got to one part in the game, and you were like, that's it. I can't do this anymore. Another great one was, for me, another great video game that I can think of was 
the legendary, um, oh god, what was it called? Knights of the Old Republic by Bioware. It was like a game of the year, and one of the parts that killed me, like I tried so many times because I just had to get the the weapon that you got at the end was fighting Bendik Star Killer, right? You went through all of these different gladiators um, in the arena, and you get to him, and it's like, you know, death after death after death, until you finally find that one, you know, magic round where you're able to defeat him. And it, it might have taken me, I don't know, 50 tries, and you have no idea how frustrated I was. Same thing with, um, at the end, when you fight Revan's um, apprentice. Darth, oh, this is gonna, oh man, all the Star Wars guys are gonna kill me now. It wasn't big, Darth, oh my god. Now I feel bad, because I pride myself as a Star Wars geek. Anyways, <laughs> I got way off topic. The point is, um, you just don't stop. And eventually you will find navigate the the at the the trail that gets you to the end goal and the only time that you fail is if you quit if you give up if not you have multiple lives you have multiple turns to try and try again until you get it right so um with that being said is there something that's been frustrating you lately that you are, you know, you've kind of given up on. Maybe you wanted to be a musician, or maybe you wanted to um, create some new cool technology or an application for an iPhone or a smartphone, or maybe you want to become a politician. I don't know. Whatever it is, right? Did you just give up after one or two tries? Or. Or are you sticking it out? And for those of you that are sticking out, like, hang in there, man. It's not always going to be this tough. You'll find the way. You'll find the people. You'll find the tools. You'll find the situations that are, that are congruent to your goals, and eventually you'll get there. Just stay the course. Don't stop now. Anyways, um... I can't think of anything else right now. For you Star Wars guys out there, if you know his name, who is Darth Revan? Malak? Darth Malak. No. No. Oh. This is going to kill me. Anyways, put it in the comment section below. Save my life. Alright. Thanks, guys. Take it easy.